Bolex is a, a company that makes electronic interconnect products. We're one of the largest players in the world and we operate from factories, 12 factories across the globe. We have two divisions. One is our power division, which makes products for consumer electronics. Uh, things like plugs that connect the coffee machine or the toaster to the mains, and also the cables that go inside. So if you think about television, there's a whole series of cables inside that connect the mains power to the switches, the screens, etc. inside the machine. Within that division, we also have uh, an emerging business in, in electric vehicles, and we make the cables that, that, that allow you to charge your vehicle at home. The other part of Verlex is our complex cable assemblies division. We make products there which have a price point of $10 to say $5,000. And what these products are is essentially a very, very complicated set of wiring, connectors and components that if you like are the arteries inside a machine. We've got a diversified customer base, we're spread around the world and we're not exposed to any one particular segment or industry. Volex's key differentiator is its engineering team. Our competitors are able to produce similar products to Volex, but what they lack is the engineering resources to act as a partner to their customers. We're working with the largest manufacturers of data centers to develop next generation products, the leading manufacturers of electric vehicles. And in medical, we work with the most advanced manufacturers of medical equipment for next generation medical diagnostic and treatment services. Um, recently, the US announced tariffs um, for Chinese manufactured goods delivered into the US. What we're able to do at Volex is obviously adjust our manufacturing so that we can service the US market from our factories in Mexico and our other factories in Asia outside of China. This is an important differentiator for Volex versus our China-based competition. The power division is a steady business um, which will generate cash for us in the future and the growth opportunity there is going to come from electric vehicles. We've been focusing recently on consolidating and expanding in the cable assemblies business. Customers want local support. When you're making a complicated machine and you need to make changes to that machine and the parts that go into that machine, you need a supplier and a partner that's nearby and that has engineering expertise to, to do the changes for you quickly. So what we've been trying to do is replicate the position that we have in Asia, in North America and Europe. The medical end market is probably the most important and that's because the products are regulated by the FDA when you're specified onto a program, for the life of that machine, you're locked into the program. So the acquisitions that we've made in the last year or so have been focused on the medical arena because we believe that the margins are more defensible, the customers are stable and are growing, and we're able to, to, to have very good long-term visibility on the business. We plan to do some vertical integration in the power business, which means buying a manufacturer of electrical cable. And our intention is to do this in China and then replicate a vertically integrated power manufacturing plant in Indonesia. We also intend to continue to expand the cable assemblies business. We intend to roll up a fragmented industry in North America and Europe and make a, a, a business in cable assemblies that's about double the existing size. What we've done over the last few years is improve our pricing, improve our efficiency, um, reduce our cost structure and, and in, increase our service to customers. And we're now in a position where we've got a business that's growing both organically and through acquisition and the profit margins are moving up to um, our target profit margins. So in the current year um, the sales are going to grow north of 360 million from the 322 million last year. So very strong growth and our operating profit this year we expect to be in excess of 20 million dollars. Our strategy is to be a dividend-paying, cash-generative, diversified company. We're a company that wants to be around for the next 120 years, and we believe that we've got the right technology and the right end markets and the right people to succeed. <music>